aerial video showing you all of the junk and the sediment flowing from the Grand right into Lake Michigan. And tonight at 6 o'clock, we're taking this story further for you. Steve Kelso went to the experts to find out how this flood will impact the big lake. All that water and had to go somewhere. More than 2 trillion gallons of it has ended up back in Lake Michigan where it was really needed. But there's good news and there's bad news. And even the good news isn't all that good. First, the bad news. A lot of sediments being washed away and carried down the river. You can see the spread. These photos were taken Monday off the coast of Grand Haven. And I shot this video today. You can see that the brown murky line now extends as far as three miles offshore. And it is poised and timed in a way that will probably make matters worse right where it matters most, the entrance to the harbor. The current slows down and then those particles drop into the uh, deeper waters and could cause some additional shoaling, which means more dredging into the future. Then there's the good news. Lake Michigan, which has been approaching record low levels, has risen dramatically. Surely, with all this rain we've had, our crisis of lake level is over. No, that's not going to be the case. The Army Corps anticipates that the lake will still run about two feet lower than average the rest of this year. And even the best news comes with a caveat. The Ottawa County Health Department says that all of that mud will dissipate and any E. coli in it will not impact beach season. But they say it will be some time before all of the floating debris washes ashore. And as that happens, somebody will have to clean that mess up. In Grand Haven, Steve Kelso, 24-Hour News 8.